Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we're going to look at working with object groups in Corel Draw. And groups are very common. You want to be aware of them and how to work with them. And there's a, just a couple of things that you really want to pay attention to. So the first thing I'd like to get into is making a group and understanding what a group of objects is. Here I have the number 21 racing design logo. And there's actually a tutorial on advancedtshirts.com on how this design was made. And you could learn how to set up similar designs using the same techniques. Now I just left click, held down with my pick tool and lassoed. And I've got 13 objects selected. Now these objects are not grouped and I can tell by looking in the properties bar. And this is the multiple object property bar. If objects are not grouped, you can easily select anything and move it because they're all individual objects. And you can see how this design all came together with the transparency and the bevel look for the depth. But if I left click, hold down and select everything and then I come up here and click on group or I can right click and select group, group objects here or control G is the shortcut. Now once the objects are grouped they're kind of nested together and now all of those objects become one object and if I click on them it's like having one object in Corel Draw. It's grouped. The scaling and everything all apply as if it was one object even though they're grouped together. And I'm just hitting Control Z to go back and we'll Set that back to 13 objects. Now here's all of the objects as one group, 13 objects or a group of 13 objects on layer one. Now with this selected, I still have ungroup all objects or ungroup objects. Now those are two different ways for ungrouping your objects when you find a piece of clip art or a graphic that's been grouped. Very often I start with this which is ungroup objects. Because if there's groups in the object and there's a lot of objects, I wouldn't really want to ungroup everything. But if I go ungroup, here I'm going to have just 13 objects. Now here's grouped objects groups. Now this is really a couple of grouped objects in a group. So here we've got group objects nested into a group of objects and you can see we've got group of four objects on layer one now if I go to the object manager and I look at that I can see that that is a group of four objects but if I click the plus sign here from the object manager docker I can see here's a group here's a group here's a group so there's actually multiple groups in here in which case I wouldn't want to ungroup all objects because if I did that then I would lose everything and go to 13 objects. I'll hit control Z to undo that and I'll go here to ungroup. Now my groups are ungrouped but I still have my groups so if I select this this is a group of nine objects. This is a curve that's not part of a group that's another group, but it says it's a group of one object. And this is a group of two objects. So I could still get to separate elements 
in the graphic if I ungroup first without doing the ungroup all. And I'll hit Control Z to go back. So that's how grouping works. Now you can do your grouping and ungrouping from a right click up here, ungroup, ungroup all objects from the object properties bar and also from the object manager. Ungroup objects, ungroup all. So you can see how all of that works for the grouping and the ungrouping. Now, very often when you create a design, you'll want to group it. You might want to put groups in groups. So that way, when you're dealing with it, you don't have to select everything all the time. You can just work with the group as if it was one object. And we'll scroll down here, and we've covered pretty much all of this to right-click contextual menu, etc., and getting into working with the object manager and all of the different ways we can work with the groups. We've pretty much already covered all of this. There are some shortcut keys. There is Control G and Control U. You'll want to be aware of that. Control U on the first time. This is an object of four groups. Control U ungroup the first time will keep your groups intact. Control U the second time will go to ungroup all for your shortcut keys. And then you've got Control G to create the group. So that's your shortcut keys, Control G and Control U for grouping and ungrouping with your keyboard shortcuts. We'll wrap here concerning the object groups and working with group objects and we'll continue in our next video.